This is Danny Gleason, uh, now Methodist pastor for a long time. I'm originally from Shreveport, grew up in the Christ United Methodist Church on uh, Crabapple Drive in Shreveport. Uh, that's where I received my call to ministry. Um, my youth director looked at me one day and says, Danny, you'd be crazy if you didn't work in the church. And I looked at him and says, you're crazy for working in the church. So uh, long story short, uh, try to prove God I wasn't worthy of such a calling, did everything in the world to uh, convince God that I was uh, not pastor material. Um, when I found myself in the belly of the well, um, got thrown up on the shore like Jonah and uh, found myself uh, face to face with uh, going uh, into uh, Centenary College. And uh, from there, the church careers program helped mold me and shape me to, uh, to be a pastor. Worked with uh, Don Cottrell as my supervising pastor at Summer Grove United Methodist Church. And uh, from there, began that journey. And I have not regretted any part of it along the way. Well, I was at my first Sunday at a church uh, in Moss Bluff. And uh, the lay leader told me that um, the congregation did not like the pastor to sing into the microphone. I said, okay, not a problem. Um, so the very first hymn was Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. And Miss Dorothy, the organist, went off into uh, what seemed to be double time, if not quadruple time, of the, of the music. And so was, she was playing Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. And the congregation was Joyful, Joyful, We. And so I saw a train wreck before me. And so what I did, I jumped off straight up the microphone, joyful, joyful, we adore thee, and help bring the congregation along. And I looked at the lay leader, and he goes, mm. so uh, a memorable story like that uh, and how music and I got along in our ministry uh, throughout that. I had a great, great time at that church for eight years uh, and loved every second of it. Well, I'm thankful for my wife, Angie, uh, for my son, Matthew, um, and my, my stepson, Brandon, and how they've helped me along in the last few years of this journey. Um, as I look back in ministry, um, I'm thankful for someone that I was scared to death of. Uh, it's the late uh, Reverend Dr. Bobby Potter. And when I came uh, before him on the board of ministry, it was uh, I was scared to death of him. Uh, but it would, our relationship grew and grew and grew. Um, and I came to have a deep appreciation for him, not only as a, a supervisor, as my district superintendent, but also as a colleague in ministry. Thank you for Don Cottrell and all the shaping that helped me along in the way. Um, I'm helpful for, uh, the two senior pastors I work with very first out of seminary, uh, Larry Stafford and Ed Boyd. Uh, they did a lot of shaping for me. Uh, I'm thankful for um, the churches that led me along in the way. Uh, First Methodist in Bossier, Moss Bluff, uh, St. Francisville, Benton, St. Charles, and uh, now I'm retiring from First Thibodeau. Um, I'm thankful for Centenary College and how I learned to, uh, to think there. St. Paul School of Theology in Kansas City and seminary and my doctoral from Wesley Theological Seminary in DC. Um, very thankful for all of those uh, Methodist institutions that really helped me shape and form ministry and help people along with their walk with Christ. So many things along in the way that, uh, that convinced me that God was with me rather than against me. Um, how I got into uh, seminary uh, was, you know, I was not a straight A student, so. I know that's hard for people to believe, but um, not a straight A student coming out of college. And so my first choice was Isla in Denver. Uh, 
they told me that um, with this phone call, uh, we're sorry to say, Mr. Gleason, that your uh, application has been rejected. So my grade point average didn't get me into ILF, but uh, there was a district superintendent um, in Shreveport that helped me tremendously. Uh, he was in the, the first graduating class uh, out of St. Paul School of Theology. Uh, and Dr. Odell Simmons called them up and said, hey, I, I got this promising young man who needs a, uh, a seminary degree. Do y'all have an opening for him? Yes. So that was, I filled out an application over the phone on Monday, was accepted on Tuesday, orientation started on Wednesday. And I made it there by Saturday um, and started school the next Tuesday. So, so, you know, one of those God moments that says, there you go. I, I made a way for you. Uh, so, so God never failed me along in that way. Mm -hmm.